hello guys welcome back to my channel as per usual we're going to just dive into this video without further ado today's topic is how to start a business any type of business in south africa these are just a guide a step-by-step -step that you can follow in order for you to start a business So the first point is for you to go online on CIPC, which is a website where you can register your business. You need to have your ID number. You need to have 175 when you register on this website. You need to create a, an account, which is for free. Then when you follow all the steps that are necessary, I will link down below a video that actually goes into details on how you can do this registration step by step the 125 the 125 from this 175 is for you to register your business and the 50 rands is for the name the second step is for you to go to sars for a tax clearance you need to actually book an appointment for you to avoid the long queues at SARS that way you'll be safer the third point is for you to go to the bank of your choice and open a business account the business account that you need to choose for your small business is a business account that it that is called a starter business account where you can be charged low monthly fees uh, round about 500 trends or less that's the third point the fourth point is for you to go to small enterprise development agency they do have a website on google which is www.seda.org.za where you can ask them to help you for free it will be free of charge to make a business plan for your business in whatever relevant field that you choose to start your business plus they also do offer like business trainings so you can try that too these things need you to be patient and you shouldn't be in a rush most things they don't happen overnight so you need to be patient at all times the fifth point is for you to go to central supplier database which is uh, also on google it's csd.gov.za to register for free so that your business is also on their database the other point which is number six you can go to your nearest municipality and request them to register you on their database as a supplier and this will cost you zero rents which means it's for free the seventh point is for you to go to your nearest y oh sorry about that nyda which is also available on google where you can search which office is nearest to your location the website is nyda.gov.za you can attend financial trade management courses which are for free you will not be charged these normally take five weeks or so so you can also consider that because at the end of the day if you are starting a business you also need to be equipped with financial management so that you do not uh, find yourself in a place where you do not know how to actually manage your finances as an entrepreneur with relevance to your business the eighth point is for you to apply at nyda for their funding most of the time it's they normally give you a equipment that is up to fifty thousand rands but you need to be patient because we know that such things they take time especially in south africa it doesn't happen overnight but for some people it may be quicker but for some it may be it may take a long time for you to get that finding towards your business 
and all of this is for free you, you do not have to pay the money that they offer you for your equipment back it's just services that the government has put in place so that we as they assist um young entrepreneurs to start their businesses in south africa we we'll all know that businesses do open doors for other people to get employed then number nine is that for you to be able to hire people you need to go to the department of labor and get a letter that's called c-o-i-d-a which is a letter of good standing i will repeat that you need to ha if you're going to hire people you need to go to department of labor register for a letter of good standing that's called c-o-i-d-a the tenth step for you to do is to ensure professionalism for your brand or your business for your brand or your business you need to make sure that you get an a business email i will link some uh, a website where you can get your business email from in the description box below you need to also if you want to venture into doing your business online and offering your services online or selling your product online to get a website for your business you also need to get uh, branding such as your logo and all of those things and you need to trademark your logo trademark goes with getting lawyers involved i think when you go to government lawyers or what not or if you ask from these nda places and all of that they can be able to redirect you where you can get such people to assist you with trademarking your business but if you do have the money and you do afford the lawyers then you can go to them to trademark your your logo so that no one can be able to steal your logo from you or use it for their own business then the other point which is point number 11 you need to register your business on google my business so that whatever services that you provide whenever people go onto google search to search for products or services that you might be offering your business can be able to pop up on the suggestion page for businesses that provide such products that they want or such services then last but not least you need to make sure by all times that when you're running a business you you go the legal route because in south africa we do have legislations that govern certain businesses such as the cosmetic industry the food industry and all of those sorts so that you familiarize yourself with the legislations that go with the business just for your own safety so that one day you do not find yourself facing legal implications because you did not follow certain legal regulations when running your business with all that being said i hope this guide will help you to actually establish and start your businesses and thrive to offer people employment in whatever way because all we want to do as small business owners with whatever scale we are on we want to reduce the amount of unemployment and help other people to be able to sustain their lives and feed their families because we know that in south africa we are facing a lot of high unemployment rate so with you starting your own business you can be able to actually help someone out there to provide for themselves and for them to live a life that they can afford just because you have hired them i hope these tips they help you and i hope to see you on my next video if you find this video informative and if you have any questions you can drop a comment down below or you can just go onto my instagram pop a dm and i will be able to help you where i can i hope to see you on the next video Goodbye.